here is their forager bowl. This is the strawberry goji berry oat. Now this right here is uh, prepared the same as the oat bowl. Um, it suggests that you put in a half a cup of milk of your preferred choice if you want them cold or if you want them warm. Um, if you want them cold, put them in overnight. And if you want to heat them up, heat them up for two to three minutes. So I want to try um, this both ways. I'm gonna try them cold and I also want to uh, try them warm. And I'm going to um, put some additional information and nutritional information um, about this bowl. Now let's take a look at strawberry goji berry oats. Okay, look at that. Now it does again look like your typical oat bowl. Um, look at the goji berry. I don't know if I ever had a goji berry. I, this is the same uh, super fruit that if you see my uh, my mask, I did a goji berry overnight mask and I will um, put that um, in the description. But this is also the same super berry that they use in their overnight mask. And I believe that was from Youth to the People. Um, I really did enjoy that mask. So I believe this is the first time I'm actually going to um, try a goji berry. So this is what the bowl looks like. I am going to put in, again, I'm gonna use almond milk. To soak, I'm gonna go ahead and soak this. Get the milk in there nice and soaky. Soak those oats. And I'm gonna put this in the fridge overnight and uh, enjoy. Okay, so here is what they call a forager bowl. And this was the, uh, the strawberry and goji berry bolt. Now I already soaked this. This has been soaking overnight. And this one um, doesn't look uh, like it's frozen. Yeah, this one soaked the oats really good. It almost just looks like um, a cereal. Just like a bowl of cereal. So I'm going to give this a taste and see what this looks like. I'm interested to try some goji berries. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, eat some cold and then I'm gonna warm, warm it up and um, eat some warm and see um, which one is the best to have this warm or cold they probably taste the same but i'm gonna um this kind of bowl you can have either way so i'm gonna have it right out of the fridge after it's soaked and then i'm gonna try it um warm Okay, so let's try some goji berry. This is the goji berry. And the oat, this is the oat bowl. Okay. It's good. It's really good. It's sweet. That's probably why I like it. Oh, it's good. The bowl. A bowl worm. Feel like you're you're eating something good. It tastes good and it's good for you. Goji berry. Now the next time I make what I'm do is 
next time we met the, the Whole Foods store, got to the Whole Foods store and looked specifically um, for some of the fruits um, that are, that's inside uh, of the smoothies and also inside of the bowls. This one is really good. This is a, be like a really good breakfast, really any time because it's it's sweet. Um, a banana probably wouldn't hurt in here, but I don't think it needs. Um, I think it needs anything else. Hmm. Okay. Uh, this one's really good. I like this one. I can see here. I probably need to still store it some more. There's. It's just something you can definitely. I could cozy up too. And enjoy. I'm going to go warm it up. Wait. First, I'm going to eat some more cold and then warm it up. I'll be right back. Good. Um, I'm gonna go warm it up. Okay, so I warmed it up. I probably, okay, I wonder if I overdid it. I did it for um, two minutes. It's like a bowl of sweet oat milk. I do like that. It's like a comfort bite. And plus, it's sweet. So, this is something that I don't think would be really good for, for in the morning. But I think with the goji berries, you probably just can't go wrong. And that's, that's mostly what I'm tasting. And the goji berries. Mm. I like it. So I'm gonna finish eating some of this. I'm still waiting for the um I'm still waiting for uh what am I'm still waiting for the smoothie that the keko the mint and cake off uh, to unthaw so uh, this is really good so when that is finished unthawing I'm gonna have um, another smoothie and um, that will be the last review of, uh, of my um, Simply Harvest box so I'm gonna eat some more of this and I'm gonna come right back Okay, so here is the mint and kettle. I'm going to open this up and see if it's ready and it looks like it.
Let's open this up. First thing I'm gonna do is smell it right. It does, it smells minty. I'm telling you, it doesn't look all that great. Let's see if it tastes good. This is green. Okay, so we have the and Kako. Okay, here we go. <laughs> My initial reaction is um the chocolate is it's not delicious but it's not bad it's 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 the chocolate that's saving it I taste the greens i can bite down on the chocolate it's actually not that bad it's almost like um like a mint cookie almost not as sweet but it has that it's minty chocolatey like a mint like a mint like a mint cookie but not with the sweet if I was to um which I don't know if I'm going to uh, purchase from them again if I was if I was going to this would be one that I would purchase again I do taste a little bit of the banana. I definitely taste the spinach, the cackle, the corolla. Now that is an ingredient that I did not know, or wasn't familiar with, and I believe it's green too. I'm going to get some information for us and see exactly what that is. And I'm going to put that on the screen. Yeah, it's um, an ingredient that I was not um, familiar with, so that's what it is. I'm enjoying it. It's not, um, it's not sweet. The cackle, it's not sweet anyway. 
I do taste a, a hint of a banana. So that's hoping to the chocolate and the banana. So, um, is it super delicious? No. Um, with the ingredients that um, they have in here, I would not have ever thought about putting these ingredients together. And that's um, another reason, you know, what brought me to their um, their smoothies is because I was looking for something different um, to do with my smoothies. So um, this is giving me some ideas. Um, this is. Probably could have blended a little bit more because there were a lot of um, chocolate chunks, the cacao, I should say, chunks that, that's in here. But I never would have thought about putting these ingredients together. So, what I take away from this is they are nutritional. To me, they are more focused on the nutrition. So what they, they're gonna do, they pack um, these bowls and these smoothies and it's nutrition first. So if you're looking for something that's nutrition first and you kind of like, um, oh, okay, taste is, is gonna, you know, not be the first thing, then this, this will probably appeal to you. If you think everything is gonna just taste absolutely delicious, um, that's I that's not what I'm gonna take away from this you're gonna probably this is probably more geared to people that you know want that nutrition because you know you don't we don't eat the way that we should eat I myself I take a one a day but I know that's not enough so you're looking for um, something for nutritional reasons um, this may be um, something that would help or at least like for me the next time I'm, you know, at the store or at a home food store, I'll, you know, look for some of these ingredients to add in some of my smoothies. Smoothies are, it's an easy way to, um, I, I think, get some nutrition in, but also make it that it tastes good. And when it tastes good, it, you feel good. So, um, that's um, why I want to get back into smoothies because I do need to add more nutrition in my diet. I will um, try to reproduce this one, maybe uh, take out a few, a few things, but it definitely gave me some ideas on um, some things I can do with my own smoothies. So um, this is going to be my last review. I do have more. This video will be like two hours long if I do them all. So if you saw the unboxing and you want to see, um, you know, more of what they look like, I believe I have a cherry tart, a tart cherry, um, and a strawberry peach. Um, also, you know, if you want to see um, those, and um, I can let me know in the comments, and I'll review those as well. But that is going to end it for my review. I am going to finish this. I put uh, my other oat bowl in the refrigerator. I am going to finish that. And um, yeah, it was an experience. I had wanted to try it for a long time. So I definitely, definitely uh, gave me some ideas on um, what I going to do with some smoothies in the future. So if you try them, if you try the Daily Harvest, um, let me know. Thank you guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you just come upon this channel, hello. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and please like. And I will see you guys on the next review. Thanks so much for watching.